All right, guys, today if you got a 2007 Toyota Camry, I'm gonna show you guys how to change your battery and uh, try to get a good cold cranking amps. So you'll see some numbers here. So try to pick up a good battery. This is 600 cold cranking amps and a 24 RPS, that's the group size. Anyways, I'm gonna show you this in detail. Pay attention. So I got myself a deep number 10 and then a short number 10 socket here. That's all you're gonna need. And uh, we're gonna start that car up because if you don't, you're gonna lose memory on the throttle and your car is gonna stall afterwards. Then it will take about 20 minutes for you to build a idle, but you don't want that. You'd rather do it safe the first time. A lot of people tell me it's not safe to start the car. I've done it, never had a problem. So that's the way I'm gonna do it. So we're gonna crank up this car. My friend is here, he's gonna help me. Guy, okay, bro, you wanna crank up the car? I'm gonna take the camera up close and personal, right? So you guys can see this whole process here. There you go. And he's gonna help me a little bit. So we're gonna take off this 10 here. This is a 10 millimeter, whoa. I dropped it almost by the radiator. So let's put this somewhere safe. Gonna loosen this guy up. And this is like a small little hook down there. That's all it is. And we're gonna put this to the side here. Now is Okay, I cannot put my, okay, my socket goes in there, it's good, I got it. So we got a negative here, and then we got a positive on this side. So, I'm gonna go get, probably see my tool's not gonna fit in here, so I'm gonna go get me a ratchet, a wrench. Okay, so, I went and got me a number 10 here. We're gonna loosen this guy up. Okay, once the car is running, you never want to let your positive touch anywhere because it will short circuit and this thing looks super tight. And uh, I'm going to go get a flathead screwdriver. Okay, got me a flathead screwdriver. Usually this thing will get stuck. We don't have new terminals, but we don't need them. And what we're going to do is we're going to just bang it a bit. And that should loosen this guy up. A little bit more probably. So I'll corrode it in here. We're gonna clean this thermal really good. So right in the middle, there's supposed to be a gap. I banged it up a bit. So just try to bang it right in the middle. It should open up. This battery's been there for a long, long time. After that, you should be able to remove this guy. Pretty easy. If it doesn't come out easy, just get a little bit of help from your screwdriver. Yeah, be careful, this thing is like, it's really contaminated stuff here. So we're gonna put this to the side. Make sure this does not touch anywhere on the metal. Let's come on this side. So we're gonna loosen this side up a bit more. We're gonna use our number 10 here. Notice it's disconnected, your car did not shut off. That's a sign you have a good alternator. Right now the car is running off the alternator. So we're gonna open up this one a bit more. And once you have this open, this thing comes off. We're gonna grab this battery and put it to the side. Now we're gonna go get the new battery. Make sure your positive is on the positive, negative is on negative. You're gonna take this little guy and then we're gonna bring it in here. Very simple and easy process. Okay, so we do have a trauma cleaner here. So the outside doesn't matter, but the pieces that's gonna touch inside, make sure it's nice and clean. There you go, it's nice and shiny in there. Let's take off this guy. We're gonna put the negative on first. And then we're gonna start working on this side. Same thing.
clean it really good because the contact has to be solid, okay? So, it's like 40 degrees here today. The temperature dropped from 50 to 40. And my friend here is having trouble with his car. The colder he's getting, the more weaker start he's having. So, I want this thing to be super clean, okay? We might get him on terminal down the road. But right now, we gotta work with this guy. Okay. And we're gonna take this guy off. We're gonna put on our battery. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock them up, okay? So tighten so you feel that it will not come loose anymore. You don't wanna go crazy either and snap this guy. And we're gonna do the same thing here. And we're not done yet, but we are gonna shut off the car in a minute. There you go, we're gonna shut off the car. I'm gonna hold the camera, shut off the car, and then we're gonna start it back up. It should start up good. And then we're gonna shut it off, and we're gonna finish up the rest of the job. There you go, it's off, crank it up. There you go. Anyways, give me a moment, and uh, we're gonna put this thing back together. All right, boys and girls, so I went and cleaned this up really good with the wire brush. And I went and got this little spray here. There's a the part number right there. It's a 80370 item number. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this. But let's put this to the side. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna put our battery holder back on. So I'm gonna need light down here. And simply, there you go, I got it. So grab the hook and then we're gonna grab our number 10. For this side, I've seen people go crazy with this too, okay? So all you want is, well this side you can tighten, but all this has to do is hold the battery in. You don't wanna go crazy tight and put a hole on the side of the battery. And uh, we're done, this is a bada bing, bada boom job. Five minute job, okay? So this little guy is good for the terminals here. So you take this and you spray this it's gonna go all the inside, it's gonna prevent that corrosion and keep the battery terminals really good. Okay, that's all this is. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe, share and like. See you guys on the next one.